Qatar further lifts uh, the COVID-19 restrictions and uh, uh, relaxes what you call the, uh, the mask mandate in most of these places. Remember, when we are looking at COVID-19 or we look at the COVID-19 pandemics, there have been a lot of restrictions that have been put in place by different countries of the world. And strictly as speaking to Qatar right now, it has gone further a mild step to relax what we call the COVID-19 restrictions regarding the mandatory mask wearing in most of other places. These are the latest development that is coming across after a council of meeting uh, chaired by the council of the uh, council by the uh, council of the ministers and further recommendation that we are coming from the minister uh, of public health regarding the latest developments and um, achievements as according to the COVID-19 vaccinations and the spread of the pandemic in the country. Remember, when we are talking about uh, COVID-19 pandemic, it has caused what we call the disastrous effect both the economy and all other sectors, including the health sector uh, of different countries or different countries of the world. And remember, when we are specifically talking about one of the Gulf countries and the Gulf countries, uh, like for example, we are talking about Qatar, there have been mass vaccinations from the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccination until to the booster dose. And at least uh, when you try to look at the statistics analysis, it's almost 90% of uh, the population in the country has already received what we call the three doses of the COVID-19 uh, vaccinations. And when you talk about the COVID-19 vaccination, definitely we are talking about those approved vaccines, uh, which are approved by the ministry or approved by what we call the world health organizations. So when we look at the cabinet meeting that we have shared, uh, the latest developments uh, regarding taking a close analysis and looking at the analysis, uh, according to uh, analysis regarding what we call the greatest developments and how tentatively people have been behaving and how they spread and how the cases have been reducing in Qatar, the government or the council of ministers uh, further went to relax what we call the COVID-19 uh, COVID mandate of putting on what we call the mask. Remember, earlier on we made big videos regarding masks being uh, lifted in open doors and uh, we had a mandatory restriction that remained where masks were still mandatory to be uh, put on in what we call closed door and people in conferences, exhibitions and the rest of it all. As per the latest development that we have right now, the, 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 the Council of Ministers and uh, the, according to the Ministry of Public Health um, endorsements, further relaxation of what you call the COVID-19 restrictions have been put in place. And now, as per the latest developments that we have, is that the masks are no longer mandatory to be put on in what we call the closed doors. However, as per the, main, as a, per the Minister of Public Health and the Council of Ministers, uh, in some few situations of some few cases, they further, they, they, they further call on the people to be uh, very vigilant with their health and be very vigilant to try to protect even the people around them by putting on masks in case you have colonic diseases and in case of that situation that you are living in what we call a closed door areas without proper ventilations and in case you are moving in what we call crowded crowded environment the father encouraged in such kind of scenarios that people should uh, should be using on the mask to make sure that they either protect themselves and also protect the other people around them from the spread of the virus in one way or the other. In the following, in the following video, we are going to get through to see what are those uh, lift uh, uh, situations that the, the masks are being uh, lifted in one way or the other. However, still something that I need to read, so note that something you need to know that the ether, the green etheras on your mobile application is still mandatory. That it is one of the, it is still a requirement for you to move anywhere. You need to show a green ether. So for those people that have not downloaded what you call the green etheras application on your mobile, it is mandatory. I have, I have to let you know that the, 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 the the requirement for it to enter somewhere or to enter in a public place or to enter in any mall, it is still mandatory as per the government. And they further, further, uh, further tell people that whatever you're moving out of the house or your house or any accommodation or you're going to your workplace, you make sure that that green address is activated 
in one word. The other. Remember when we are talking about the Etras applications, we look at that application that is being used in Qatar and uh, it will definitely, it will show you the vaccination status, it will, call, it will definitely also include what you call recovered status in case you ever suffered in what you call the COVID-19 and recovered from that scenario. It also shows you the three doses of the vaccine that you've received, uh, including the particular date and the uh, particular vaccine that you've been, uh, you've received as in the country. And it also shows you what you call your status as per the government or as per the ministry and the Ministry of Public Health, the green ethers is still mandatory, much as the, the, the mandatory masks have been uplifted in what you call the uh, public places or closed indoors, but the green ethers is still mandatory to everyone to have it on his or downloaded it on his mobile. In this, let us try to go through and uh, see what, what actually, uh, what was the government, the government directive as regarding the uplifting of what you call the mandatory or relaxing, what you call uh, the mandatory um, masks requirements in what you call uh, um, close, close, close places. Uh, after the cabinet clearly uh, uh, listened to the explanation given by the minister, the minister of public health on the latest developments to limit the spread of COVID-19, and after reviewing the report of the Supreme Committee of what we call the crisis management for guiding uh, for the gradual lifting of restrictions imposed because of the pandemic, the following restrictions have been reviewed. Remember, one, entry restrictions with masks have been lifted, however, a requirement for the green ma green uh, ethers status will be mandatory for all people entering uh, closed and all open doors will be required to present their green ethers. Number two, continuing to adhere to the requirements set by the Minister of Public Health for holding any conferences and exhibition. For those people that are going to be holding what you call conferences and exhibition, they still need to adhere to what is put or the guidelines that will be put by, that are already in place that we are put by the Ministry of Public Health. And however, still for people who are going to hold conferences and exhibition and any form, you definitely you would expect what you call surprise inspections to see that all you are adhering to what is being put in place by the Ministry of Public Health. Still, uh, still something else now uh, we look at continuing to allow employees to work from their workplace or what you call the government and the private sectors that the employees will be allowed to go back to their workplaces uh, remember when we received when we got the, the stage of the covid uh, pandemic cases of the covid uh, cases covid 19 cases uh, very many people resorted to what we call remote working and uh, partially so to some company or to some employees people we are told to work from home those that did not have a lot of workload at all to work from home uh, especially we, we saw a lot of online work that is being done in one or the other as however as according to uh, the gradual lifting that we've been seeing partially one or the other uh, we are now seeing that all the government or the private workers that we are partially working from home are allowed to go back and work from their workplace with what you call the full-time basis. That is according to the Ministry of Public Health and that is according to the latest development that's been published in one or the other. Still also uh, that uh, the ministry also argues that it's not obligatory for all people in the private sector or the government sector to, to do what you call antigen test uh, as uh, every week that was being uh, uh, advised them to do. Remember in the last gradual lift up or gradual COVID uh, restriction lift up, we talked about the antigen test whereby all workers in the government sector and the private sector that uh, uh, work in what you call closed door that will be taking what you call antigen test every after week. As now, as the latest development we, we the latest development to receive uh, from the council or according to the draft that was being chosen by the Minister of Public Health, it is showing us that the, the, the antigen test will no longer be mandatory for all those workers living and working in what you call the private and the government sectors as it has been before, which is quite very good news for, for, for that situation. And still something that we need to know that uh, the ministry also stated that people are advised to take what you call personal responsibility to protect themselves and other, particularly those that care for, like for example, wearing of what you call masks 
are wearing masks for those that are vulnerable to what we call chronic diseases. If you think you are vulnerable to chronic diseases, the ministry still argue to you that you should continue putting on the masks in whatever to way and in the other. And also the ministry also stated that those people that seem to be a little bit asthmatic uh, for any kind of symptoms that you get to see in one or the other, the government also, uh, the Ministry of Public Health also still advises you to put on the mask. And those people that are moving in what clouded, what we call clouded, uh, clouded places or what called crowded places, uh, crowded areas, the government or the Ministry of Public Health still, uh, still stresses it that you should also put to know the mask to aid to protect yourself and also to protect the people around you in one way or the other. Then also in areas that are poorly uh, ventilated, the government still stresses that you should continue putting on what we call mask to protect yourself or protect even others. Also the government stresses is that in some occupation or in some work that require uh, close contact with um, for those jobs that require close contact with the people around, the government stresses and still uh, endorses that people should continue to put on what we call continue on putting on masks in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for coming uh, to this channel. It's made for next question for always the updates around the ground from the Gulf countries and all the countries at large, including travel jobs around the Gulf and the nature travel and restrictions. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will always be very important for you to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation Team. Don't forget to check out our TikTok account at Max Creation TV. Always, we will have always those updates of what's happening, the updates that will also enable you to be well informed of whatever is happening. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.